Here in the laboratory, we've connected to an isolated test motor. And we're going to test it with the Mega MIT 1025-10 kV insulation tester. Now, in actual practice, you would observe industry standard safety practices. The tester itself is redundantly designed for safety, but the test item can be dangerous. The most fundamental test is the insulation resistance IR or spot reading test. So we'll begin with that. The convenient selector switch position sets the IR test. And you set your test voltage based on the rated voltage of the test item. In this case, we'll do a two and a half kV test. All you have to do then is press the test button. It's time delayed for safety so that in the event that your partner is hooking up the test leads, he doesn't inadvertently get shocked. And once the tester is energized, the tester then begins to apply the selected test voltage across the insulation, depending on how you've connected the leads, and measures the amount of leakage current that the insulation allows to flow depending on its condition. And it calculates out a resistance reading gives you additional information. The actual applied test voltage is displayed. The uh, test item will always load up in voltage a little bit, so you'll get an actual test voltage slightly higher than your selected voltage, and you can see that. It also shows you the reciprocal of resistance, which is the leakage current. So you can look at the leakage current directly, and it gives you the added capability of seeing some simultaneous information for your interpretation. And finally, there's a timer. Insulation resistance tests are highly dependent upon time, and a convenient timer on the display keeps you apprised of that at all times. Initially, you will get readings that are constantly rising up because the test item is charging. And so it's pulling charging current, primarily capacitance, and as it does so, the resistance will climb. At some point when the test item becomes fully charged, the readings will stabilize and that is the final resistance reading of the test item. That's the goal of the insulation resistance spot reading test.